All right, guys. So not so long ago, I posted a video about the upcoming mouse and keyboard adapter of the Zim company. Opsif accidentally leaked it in the Zim forum, and yesterday he shared a few more infos about this new Zim device. Now the first bit of information is that the new Zim device will also have the new Smart Action feature. If you do not know what Smart Actions are, they are basically a very strong macro generator and currently only available on Zim Nexus. With just a few clicks, you can for example realize very complex button combinations, such as anti-recoil, auto-sprinting or rapid-fire. And all of that is happening inside the Smart Translator, so your mouse movements will not be affected in a negative way. That is the biggest difference to other adapters, which have a strong influence on your inputs when using macros. The second piece of information is about the hardware setup. The new mouse and keyboard adapter will not have an external hub. So, all required USB ports will be installed on the device itself and it will not need an additional USB hub like Zim Apex. So, from the looks it could be similar to a Zim 4. At last, Opsif shared two more smaller bits of information. The new Zim will not have the name Zim 5 and it will be anything else than just a rebranded Zim Apex. The latter we already knew, so this isn't really a new information but more like a confirmation. Now, in the last video, I have asked you all what kind of features you would like to see for the new Zim device. And here you can see the result. 23% of you guys wanted scripts or macros to be part of the new Zim, so that which has been fulfilled with today's announcement. Now, the question is what kind of other features we will get with the new Zim device. In my opinion, a PS5 compatibility is kind of a must and 42% of you guys seem to see it the same way. Overclocking the Zim to 8000Hz will probably not be possible, as the new consoles cannot process inputs faster than 1000Hz. Now let me know what kind of features you would like to see or if there are any features that are not shown on this picture yet. Also, as soon as there are more news about the new mouse and keyboard adapter, I will of course post another video. So subscribe to the channel or register in the Zim forum if you want to stay up to date. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus, we also have a nice little Discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.